I hate to uh, to do this on this block, but then again, it uh, I'll just consider it it's a good cause. After I mutilate that one, I have no. Welcome back to the channel. This is Sagitnet Two. Now, today's episode is preparation for this block for a B series transmission, right there. Cut the ear off from here. Trim this up a bit for the transmission, otherwise it will be interfering. And for this one here, I'm going to wait till the transmission is all connected or buttoned up and everything. I have to make sure that everything will work. I have another idea for the drive axle or the uh, intermediate shaft. <laughs> There is no turning back now. No, oh, there it is. So I'm just going to uh, contour it. Man, that. Well, I guess if you wanted to uh, bring it back to normal, you can always re weld this. Plenty of gap. I think that should be good for now. So I put the uh, transmission. Hopefully it's enough. If not, I'll do accordingly. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So I have accomplished two things today. Get rid of this one right here. And this one, like I said earlier, this one here, I'll wait till the transmission is hooked up. I'm gonna try what I have in vision on this one, see if it's gonna work. So next up, I'm going to uh, just get rid of all the debris and uh, assemble my uh, clutch pack, the action clutch. Hey, hey. <laughs> Flywheel installed, clutch pack installed, all torque and everything. Like I have shown you guys earlier, I drilled some holes and put some threading on there, helical on three. That way the uh, the thread will not strip out. Yeah. In my opinion, it's better to have a uh, 
a helicoil on there. And this one right here, I welded this piece, added some aluminum, and there it is. So now, I'm going to invert the, uh, the motor, and I'm gonna, I have to check if I have the, uh, the transmission all concentric. When I put the holes on it, I got this thing checked with a dial indicator and everything. So hopefully I did a good job. I gotta spline it in. Alright. It's splined. Not all the way down. I think he hasn't dropped in on the on the pilot bearing maybe okay uh, let me see what I can do all it needed really is just bring it up and then down I think I'm pretty much like dead on. I think this will be good to go. <laughs> but I do need to uh, enlarge the hole on this one. Ah, let me see what the best I can do on this one. Not enough. Look at that. It landed right on the seal. Okay. So I need to uh, grind some more. But man, <laughs> let me get the bolt. Man, this thing is uh, getting me all excited. See if this thing will start uh, by hand. It should. I need both of my hands. I'm sweating like a pig. to elongate the I don't want to force it because I'm gonna end up cracking the, the flange I thought I got it all uh, yeah I thought I got it all uh, figured out earlier but uh, I think this is the true concentric right here that is free floating This one is fine, but this one it's not. All right, let me mark this. It 
there. This one goes in by hand. I'm good there. I uh, could use, yeah, this one is good. All right, this is the only one. And I also need to mark. This one right here. Okay. I think this is okay. Man. <laughs> right on, man. How'd you like that? See, there's no gap. This one, there's a little bit on there, but uh, yeah, I made it all right. <sighs> Alright, I'll be back. Uh, I need to massage this a little bit and that one. That is how this motor is going to be sitting on the engine bay. It will be like normal. One glance and you see that plate you'll be asking <laughs> what is going on you got the plate and yet the motor is not leaning forward <laughs> interesting I hope you guys like this episode make sure you like and subscribe okay hit that like button and make a comment leave a comment turn out good So it'll be like so, just need to make a plate and the, uh, I mocked it up earlier and I don't really have to uh, grind as much. Let me get the half shafts. I have a feeling what my vibration was coming from here. This was really rocking when it's on there. I think this isn't the problem, but uh, check this out. Yeah, I do have to grind it though, but uh, it's not as much. Yeah. And uh, H22, it sits right about here like normal. And this thing is perfect, perfect length. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more research and development, see which one will be best for me. If I don't make any grinding here, I think I'm going to have to pay on the axle. I'm going to have to cut the axle and then re-weld it together. I don't know if I want to do that. So, uh, I'll s I'm going to weigh my option, I think. Anyway, here's the more glimpse of the setup. And then here, I just need to cut this. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna grind this off. Yeah. That way it'll be uh, flat, a little bit flat. It looks normal. You will not see that I ground this anyway once the uh, slave cylinder is on there. But it looks pretty good. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> I got something here. And this is where it ends. Till the next episode. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Something different. Thank you all for watching. Bye everyone. That thing is like normal. Yep.